Retired baby boomers are burning through their savings, and McDonald's pulls the plug on AI. Today, I read an article on Yahoo Finance put out by MoneyWise and written by Maury Backman, titled, Three Reasons Why Boomers Are Eating Through Their Retirement Savings So Quickly, How to Preserve Your Nest Egg. The author referenced Northwestern Mutual's Planning and Progress Study 2024, which revealed that baby boomers have an average of $120,300 saved for retirement. The author indicates this is troubling since consensus among boomers is that it'll take $990,000 in savings to retire comfortably. Here are my thoughts. $120,300 is better than nothing, which is what some Americans have. When applying the 4% rule to $120,300, that amount will only generate $4,812 per year, or $401 per month. That might cover your groceries for the month if you live alone and don't eat much. You'll have to survive on Social Security if you have no other retirement savings or a pension. Note I said survive and not thrive. I personally think it will be tough to survive just on Social Security. The cost of living adjustments haven't kept pace with true inflation in our country. This might be why I keep reading about elderly people unretiring. They simply can't survive anymore just on Social Security. I'm sure some people were caught off guard by all of this inflation in recent years. Some might have been scraping by prior to 2020, and now they aren't. I want to share something interesting in this article, which I read recently in another article. The author referenced a survey from Edward Jones that found 40% of retiree clients among financial advisors across the industry were forced to end their careers. The author said an early unexpected retirement can put anybody at risk of a host of financial struggles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why it is good to plan for the unexpected in life. Unfortunately, many people don't do this. A lot of people just live day to day and paycheck to paycheck. They keep living as if everything is going to go as planned. I think this is incredibly foolish. I think people should consider the possibility that unemployment could happen at any point. After the pandemic hit, people should have woken up to the fact that unforeseen events could impact employment. Imagine if the government had not injected trillions of dollars into the economy and put in place various moratoriums. Some people would have felt a lot of financial pain. The author of this article referenced Citizens Bank as identifying reasons for a forced early retirement, which include health problems, job cuts, or having an outdated skill set. I've talked about this in the past, but I want to emphasize this again. I believe it is important to not just invest in assets, but to also invest in yourself. You should invest in your skill set and keep it as current as possible. Spending money to earn new licenses or certifications may help you if you find yourself unemployed. I would want to be the most qualified candidate when applying for a new job, but that's just me. I also enjoy learning. I'd much rather go after some new license as opposed to mindlessly watching television for hours each day. Getting back to the article, the author mentioned the high cost of healthcare as a reason why some baby boomers are blowing through their retirement savings quickly. I can believe this. The cost of healthcare in America is very expensive. Some retired people may need some type of elective procedures that they will have to pay for out of pocket. A lot of my older retired friends tell me they spend a good amount of their free time traveling to and from doctor's offices. They often also spend a lot of time driving to and from the pharmacy. Some tell me they don't know how they ever had the time to work a full-time job because their time goes by so quickly each day now that they are retired. I really hope I don't find myself in this type of lifestyle in the future. I read some of the comments beneath this article. I'll share some of them with you. One commenter said, want to retire comfortably? Raise your kids to be self-sufficient. Kids learn this when they witness their conservative parents do for themselves. Teach your kids to problem solve, budget, and offer them help only when they have given their best. Fortunately, my two kids did well. Both got college degrees while working. My daughter has a teaching degree and teaches in middle school. 
My son got an MBA and is a real estate broker. Both are totally self-sufficient. Both have kids. One granddaughter has her teaching degree and also teaches. One is in law school. I personally know people that attained great wealth but failed their kids because they were too busy chasing money. They are indeed rich, but have personal tragedies like needy kids and one even lost his son. Investing wisely to me is investing in your kids. My wife and I are satisfied that we did our best. We are not wealthy, but have our needs met with money to spare. What this commenter said really resonated with me. I know a lot of people who have their adult children on their payroll and it is bleeding them dry. It is truly tragic in my opinion. The next commenter said, it's too late for boomers and Gen X, but it's not too late for millennials and Gen Z. Don't live your life and plan your finances like nothing is ever going to go wrong. Optimism is your enemy when it comes to financial planning. Assume the worst will happen and be pleasantly surprised if it doesn't. I really liked what this commenter had to say. Unfortunately, many people will not follow his suggestion. The last comment that I'll share with you came from someone who said, no matter what the experts say, consider paying off your house if you have one. I did and now my social security covers my monthly bills and a small retirement goes into savings for big expenses. Without the house, I would have to rent a room at best. Well, my friends, even renting a room is incredibly expensive in some parts of America. What do you think about all of this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I read another interesting article today. This one was on yahoo.com, put out by Insider, and written by Lauren Edmonds, titled, McDonald's is removing its AI drive through voice ordering system from over 100 restaurants after its mishaps went viral. According to the author, McDonald's told franchise operators on Thursday that it is removing AI order technology from over 100 drive throughs marking the end of a test period conducted with IBM. Apparently, the voice recognition technology was accurate about 85% of the time, but human staff had to assist with about one in five orders. What's interesting is some of the AI failures went viral on TikTok. For example, a woman tried to order a water and a cup of vanilla ice cream, but somehow four ketchup packets and three butter packets were added to her order. Here are my thoughts. I hate to see AI replace human jobs. I don't think it is a good thing for society at all. I think AI in the past year has been overhyped. I'm not saying AI isn't going to be a game changer in society because it will. However, it is going to be quite some time before we see anything like Commander Data on Star Trek The Next Generation. If you've ever watched that old series, he was one of the most interesting characters. I'm curious if any of you have visited a drive through where AI has taken your order. If you have, tell me about it in the comment section below. Please keep in mind that everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only, and nothing in this video is financial advice or advice of any kind. If you need advice, seek advice from a qualified professional in good standing who puts your interests first and foremost. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Please also consider sharing this video with your friends. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description beneath this video. You can read more about the different membership levels. Please also check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.